Welcome to The Rocket Right Show, starring Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar. Two busy blondes with their fingers on the pulse of all things Louisiana. Events, health, leisure, entertainment, and more. It's The Rocket Right Show. And now, here's Betsy and Kay. And we're excited that you could join us for another exciting week of Rocket Right. It has been a very busy an eventful week and we would like to congratulate all those who won in the elections and we would also like to um, encourage anyone else to step out into leadership and for those of you that stepped out to run but were not victorious in the end we do appreciate you stepping out and stepping up so we're very excited to bring you tonight's show um, we have Tabitha Villardo and Krisha Rouse with Louisiana Women in Business Magazine. This is a really cool publication that I think you really are going to enjoy. It's got some outstanding women who are not only leaders in their field, but leaders in their communities, all the way from Lafayette to New Orleans. And then we're going to have Bill Langkopf and Ben Blackwell with Louisiana Hospitality and Hotel Association. And they're going to be sharing with us some of the safety precautions that have been taken that can ensure that you and your family and business travelers can come back to Louisiana and travel and do whatever you need to do to grow your business. And I can't wait for that to happen. And in medical, uh, sponsored by Mary Bird Parkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center, we have Dr. Emily Cassidy, a thoracic surgeon who is going to talk about lung cancer screening. And then we're going to be talking some turkey talking some turkey at the end with Katie Touchstone from City Port Catering because it's time to think about Thanksgiving. Have you thought about your order yet? I have. I have too and I mm -hmm. printed out their menu. Oh good. Yes. So we love City <laughs> Pork and we really do appreciate the sponsorship of City Hospitality Group. And so we are excited that you came to bring your magazine. Yes, thank you. This for labor you. of love to share with other women. We're excited that you could be here and tell us a little bit about why you decided to do this Louisiana Women in Business magazine and then what people can expect in your next issue coming up. Okay, why don't you start and I'll talk about the next issue. <laughs> I'll hold it like this. <laughs> <laughs> Tabitha um, brought the idea to me. She came up with the idea for the magazine earlier um, this year and she brought it to me and I was super excited because I'm all about you know empowering women and educating yes. them and making them feel better about themselves and um, that's basically what this magazine does. So Krisha your role is really the editor you work with the writers you help put together the content Correct. y'all discuss who's gonna be featured and you really have kind of a couple of amazing people what? two or three or ten or fifteen <laughs> or twenty amazing women in here yeah so um, tell us kind of why you even started this to begin with because there's really not a lot of women business magazines in Louisiana are there um, no okay so I was actually selling ads for another magazine and um, I had bought a couple of page ads and some magazines and when I picked them up I felt like I was looking at a coupon catalog you know just a one ad after sure. another and um, I just thought you know I could make a magazine and I'd like for it to be for people like me because I'm a CEO I own three companies mm -hmm. and I'm like they everybody all of us have the same questions right so if we could answer those questions and motivate other women in business, um, and I'm Louisiana all the way, like yeah. five Louisiana shirts, I'm Cornerstone Marketing Agency of Louisiana, we're Louisiana women in business. So it's just about our state and helping other women, and that's what I just went for it. You know what? I stopped at, a, I was at the chiropractor, and I looked down, and I saw a magazine that said that there were 240,000 new women-owned businesses open in Louisiana. Wow. Um, I didn't realize there were so yeah. many. Yeah. Well, well you're going to have a us. lot of potential for content, aren't you? And I was yeah. like, now is the time. So, yeah, yeah then the I called Christian, and I'm like, let's have a meeting. Yes. like, nobody's a better grammar Nazi than this one here, so <laughs> I knew where to go. <laughs> She'll call you I'll out. Take You're it. the idea woman, mm -hmm. and she spells it correctly. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> I, I'm the brain and the mouthpiece, and you could be the looks and the. She, she, she's definitely the mouthpiece. <laughs> <laughs> it was her brainchild. I just, I, I'm 
blessed to be a part of bringing it to fruition because it's we've gotten a lot of amazing feedback everybody loves the content it's really good stuff and you've barely hit the shelves i mean it's just been know, out what been out, um, two weeks maybe yeah, three three and um so you have it in a lot of locations it's it's a free magazine it correct is. and um I know that there's a huge list of places through, throughout the state that you can pick these up, right? Yeah, we're at 60 locations right now, but that... I'm not going to make you rattle them off. It's, <laughs> it'll be don't. worse than the alphabet. Yeah. Right? We'll share it. We'll share it. We will. We'll share it on our on our Facebook page at uh, Rocket Right Radio. Awesome. But let's talk about you have a lot of women that are featured throughout the entire state in yeah. here. So how did you connect with some of these women? Oh, mm-hmm. my gosh. Okay. So Laura Fuentes... Um, Krisha actually had remembered that she opened a business about 10 years ago. And when I looked her up, she had, um, I was like, um, she's super successful. She's got 90,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel. She's won competitions wow. on Food Network and everything. Wow. I emailed her, so sweet, like, pumped to talk to me. So we had a Zoom meeting because it was in August and we weren't meeting in person. Um, and I just had coffee with her yesterday. And she's so cool. Like she's the coolest. I call well, her Wonder now Woman. You see, a big key to her success is she's open. She's willing to work with other women. She wants to network, and there's a relationship there. And one of the things about women, we do want to connect with each other. We really do want to help each other. Right. And so that is a powerful network. And this is another tool of people building those relationships because there's going to be people, even though she has 90,000 people on her YouTube channel, there's going to be people that have not heard of her, don't know what she does, and this is a way to connect them to her. And you never yes. know. At Mama Wolves, it's the coolest thing. Mm-hmm. It's a recipes and meal planning and how to cook more healthy for your family and stuff mm-hmm. like that but this, this is woman a beautiful right here, woman here this woman right here is the new anchor for wgno in new orleans mm-hmm. and i hit her up on instagram and she answered me and talked to me and we're friends now too i had brunch with tamika lee and Good. her thing was actually i was like i couldn't believe you answered me i just had to take a shot and she was like girl i'll talk to anybody like she would she's like didn't have makeup on she just rolled in from the station mm-hmm. you know she's awesome and you've got other women too. Yeah. Last week um, we had Debbie Go Debbie trailer. trailer that came in, talked about the music that she's done. She's had a lifelong career in music and is a business owner and has been involved with multiple businesses, including Pelican Broadcasting. Yes. And so she is the one that connected us. So yeah. she connected all of us. That's the whole game is connections. That's yes. right. Exactly. Miss Debbie is phenomenal. Debbie's bridal on the airline highway. So in addition to featuring women in each issue and their businesses and people can learn from their successes but you also have educational articles in there and and lots more content you said so, articles so i'm going to turn to krisha and she can <laughs> yeah 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 we articles. try <laughs> we try to run the gamut with the articles and with content mm-hmm. we are not specifically for just business women we want any woman that picks up this magazine to to get something out of it that improves her life mm-hmm. whether it's inspirational motivational health and wellness um sexual health business finance like everything there's the content is just amazing and it's a beautiful magazine too you know sometimes it you is. see magazines and Thank you. and um y- you know it's it's very nice to look at. The pictures are great. Uh, you know. It feels substantial. Yeah, it does. I it's love not that. newsprint. It's, it feels like a nice magazine that you'd want to keep, and then maybe you'd want to share. Oh yeah, we love. Oh that yeah, and there's ad. there's a, two, a couple of busy balls nice right there too. <laughs> That's a nice ad. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is a nice ad. We appreciate you including us in this, and and you you've know, done a few ad course. creations before. Right? Yeah, I just, yeah, just yeah, saying. <laughs> yeah. Well, Cornerstone Marketing is your business, and so you help businesses really grow yeah. their reach. And so, you know, we're all Partners One members, mm-hmm. and so now you're a brand ambassador with Partners One. They're our studio sponsor. We are so thankful for Partners One. Yeah, we love Since we're broadcasting Partners right One. here from the capital city of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, to the 700 Partners One members and 4,500 across the southeast, we're thankful yeah, for that. Yeah, Partners One is awesome. I wish I would have looked it up before. And I've signed some of my clients up as well. So now they're getting involved and Mm -hmm. using their moxie to do trade with other companies. And it's Mm -hmm. just building that business economy that I didn't even know was there. 
Well, you know, it's really important, I think, for women to share the story behind their story. And that's one of the things that we've loved about doing the show for so long. We love the story behind the story. What started out as your motivation? Where did that path take you? Where did you end up? And, and it's sometimes not exactly where they planned, as we've talked about. Right. You know, right. sometimes it's like blazing a trail. And other times it's just a way to mentor others. Right. Yeah. So what do we expect in now? So this is going to be a quarterly, quarterly magazine, magazine yeah. right? And so the next issue would hit the stands when? Uh, January 15th. And what do you have planned for that? Oh, because I know you're planning right now. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so I have Aaron Padrami, who is an attorney, Padrami Law Firm, as a featured CEO. I want to mention that if you go to the website, you can nominate women to be a featured CEO, and we'll feature Great. them and vote on the woman of the season. So we put that list up, and you can vote uh, at the end of December. So then we'll choose who's on the cover. That's a right. great idea. Um, and go ahead and give that website so that folks can look it up. LAWomenInBusiness.com. All social media is LA Women in Business, <laughs> right? And um, there's one other thing. Oh, Ashley Gibson, a state, a Louisiana State police officer, owns a gym. She's a boxing champion as well. So um, she's going to be featured in the winter, too, in the January edition. We'd love to meet all these women. Let's bring them on. We would yeah. really love to meet all Heck these yeah. women. They're all amazing. And so where can people reach you? If they want to email you, how can they reach you? Editor <laughs> at LAWomenInBusiness.com or Tabitha at LAWomenInBusiness.com. Our number and all of our information is on the website. LA Women in Business website and all, all social media. Yep. Easy to yeah. remember. That's right. And we appreciate Partners One Studio sponsorship for bringing y'all to us. And we're going to be back in just a second. We're going to talk with Bill Langkop and Ben Blackwell from the Louisiana Hospitality and Hotel Association. And hang tight because we're also going to be talking about some things you need to be aware about for lung cancer screening and prevention, as well as city pork. We're gonna be talking about a little good food. You know, we love to talk that food. We'll say we're now. talking turkey, we're probably talking some pork too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> What's on your Thanksgiving table? Uh -huh. I don't know, Betsy's gonna share with me. Make sure you listen up, cause there will be a deadline. <laughs> y'all, I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore our state. Fill her up, then try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab the family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways. Louisiana's a trip. Take one today. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianastaycation.com. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. I've had my fair share of experiences with disasters, and I know Louisiana's helping one another is as much a part of our culture as gumbo and Mardi Gras. When it comes to disasters, you can help your community most by getting trained as a volunteer to help with the disaster recovery. For more information about this, visit the websites below and be prepared. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denno Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Surprise, something good has finally happened in 2020. Yours truly, The Clarence Bug Show, gets to be with you every day of the week. That's right, 11 to 12 every weekday. And, of course, The Exiles right in front of yours truly from 10 to 11, yours truly 11 to 12. So now it's appointment viewing five days a week here on The Pelican. The Clarence Bug Show, the only thing missing is you. Hi, I'm Tony Acor with Southern Airs Auction, Dental Springs, Louisiana. We've been professional estate liquidators for over 30 years. 
please take time to join us for our weekly online sales on Facebook. If you need help, hit us up. We are often imitated but never duplicated. www.southernairs.com or Facebook at Southern Airs Auction. Five hundred, but a good four, but a good three hundred, a good two hundred, a good two two. I got a hundred and a half, hundred and a half, one seventy. Welcome back. We are so glad to be talking about a little travel, a little fun. Don't you want to do a staycation? Don't you want to get out of the house and go stay in a beautiful hotel and enjoy people waiting on you hand and foot? I do, Betsy. I do. I do. I do every single day. Yeah. I do. Well, we are going to be discussing uh, quite a few things that are going on in the way that people can safely travel with Bill Langkop and Ben Blackwell with the Louisiana Hotel and Lodging Association. But first, we want to thank our sponsors and the businesses that make our show possible and we're so grateful to them and first and foremost we have to thank partners one better barter for baton rouge and beyond they're our studio sponsor and we just appreciate them and their members they are celebrating their 20th anniversary as a networking group and we're thankful to be a partners one member and have partners one member highlights different businesses throughout our show. And so we also want to thank Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts. If you have not been to Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts in the antique district of Denham Springs, you need to go see Stuart and Renee. If you tell them that you heard this on Rocket Right with Betsy and Kay, they're going to give you a special 20% discount on whatever you're going to buy for somebody that you love. And I think it'd be worth your trip. Yep, I've used mine. Yes. Mm -hmm. and I heard it from you. Yes, that's right. And look, they are it wonderful. Still. Jewelry repair, custom made jewelry, you name it, they do it and they take great care. And you could just call them up and order over the phone if you want. Uh, also, we want to thank Advantage Health Solutions and Dr. Boyd Michael Helm. The treatment that he gives people who are battling opioid and heroin addiction is excellent. And so you need to make sure that you give him a call at Advantage Health Solutions. You can find him on Facebook and also AdvantageHealthBR.com. Mary Bird Perkins, our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center, multiple years, and we're thankful to always have cutting edge medical technology and be able to share that with you. High Tower Dental Concepts and Dr. Leah Larson, we're going to be having her next week and we look forward to sharing a little bit about that. City Group Hospitality. We love everything they do. And we've got Katie, and she's going to be sharing some of the things they're doing for tailgates and Thanksgiving. But she's going to cover food that comes from City Pork Bar and Brasserie, City Slice, City Pork Catering, uh, Rouge Creole. My favorite is the Round Booth. You need to go check it out if you haven't been. And also Beau Soleil. They're open this week, and you're going to love it. Also, Laura Sue Events and Marketing. You need to check out Laura Sue Events on Facebook and on the website. Southern Airs Auctions and Tony Acor. Check out their weekly auctions. Louisiana Women in Business Magazine. We just talked to Tabitha and Krisha. You need to pick one up. And LouisianaTravel.com. Louisiana is a trip. You need to take one. And that's what we're going to be talking about. After and that where long are we going to be staying and we're going to talk about it? Look. Yes. These fellas know how to show people a good time. And they represent the Hotel and Lodging Association for Louisiana. And a lot of people have been scared about travel. Mm -hmm. And they're afraid to come to New Orleans. They're afraid to come to Baton Rouge. Henny penny, the sky's falling. As long as we do it safely, as long as people know that you're taking every precaution, I think that's what people want to hear and need to hear. So tell us about what the hotel industry is doing. And that is clearly the key. Thank you for inviting us. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. Oh, Thank it's, you. we're so happy to be here to tell the story. It is time to get out of the house. I know that we've all been locked up for all these months. Uh, it, it, and it was important, and I respect the importance of it. Uh, we have to be careful. We have to wear masks. We have to wash our hands. We have to do all the things that, that the medical folks are telling us to do. But at the same time, we are ready and prepared to welcome people back into the travel world and come visit our hotels. Hotels uh, and the hotel industry has spent a lot of time and a lot of money to prepare for a safe and, and, and productive stay so that people can enjoy themselves, have a good time, and still go home uh, feeling good about having gone, getting out, and being safe. We can do right. it. We're prepared. Yes. 
I'm going to ask Ben to tell you a little bit about the preparation that has gone into this because it isn't something that we just sat around and said, oh, let's, that's a good idea. Let's just tell people to travel. There's a lot of, the American Hotel Association produced a, a prototype program called Stay Safe that mm -hmm. focuses on sanitation and proper We uh, have clean. it right here. Oh, do you? Oh, look at we you. We do. Fantastic. We have it right here. And so I'm going to ask Ben to just touch on some of the highlights of how this uh, works so that you can be comfortable staying, traveling, take a little trip, a staycation if necessary. We love a good staycation. And, and, and enjoy yourself and come get out. Yeah, you know, the hotels, you know, one, you've come to know the hotels, you know, pride themselves on cleanliness. Now more than ever, it's such an important thing that we are highlighting. Um, you know, the brands took what the HLA did they came up with their own spin on it. You know, you've got Hilton with their uh, commitment to clean. You've got, you know, Marriott, um, you know, with their stay safe. And what we are doing is we are ensuring that from the moment a guest steps inside the hotel, that it's fresh, it's mm -hmm. clean, you know, social distancing, mask wearing, barriers put up, you know, limiting elevators, uh, rides, you know, to two or three people, uh, you know, electrostatic sprayers with hospital grade disinfectant that we're spraying our rooms with, our lobbies with, you know, guests can be assured that when they step into a hotel in Louisiana, they are going to get a clean stay. They're going to get an enjoyable stay. You know, we pride ourselves on, you know, Southern hospitality and right. Louisiana charm. Well, they're going to get that plus an extra bit of cleanliness. Yes. And actually, you're the general manager of the Courtyard Marriott downtown Baton Rouge. I've stayed in the hotel. I love staycationing. And, and it's beautiful. It was spotless anyway. But you just have a really good vibe there. Thank it's you. great to just be able to park your car all weekend and just walk. Right. But y'all represent a lot of hotels. You're the president of the association. Yes, You're the executive vice president. So you have great relationships with all these other hotel owners. Yes. And so tell us just a few of the hotels that are members across the state. This is not just Baton Rouge. Well, we've got members all over the place. Sheridan, I mean, the, uh, the Sh uh, Shreveport. Uh, we have the Hiltons and the Fairfields and the, the casino operations as well. So the privately owned, privately the casinos, owned, the, the larger the, chains. The big brand names and the little individual properties. We've got them all. Monroe, we have numerous properties. Alexandria. Alexandria is a wonderful place to visit, uh, and we've got a number of properties there, from Best Westerns to to Country Inns to Courtyards, courtyards things like that. Hamptons. Now, you know, we're struggling a little bit in Lake Charles right now. You know, we've got well, to, obviously, we've got to yes. kind of rebuild yeah. that. But those guys are coming back fast and furious, and we've got the big casinos and the Delta Downs and the La Beiges and the Golden Nuggets, Nuggets, but also the the little Spring Hill Suites and places like that depending on your your budget and depending on your lifestyle we've got it all and then when you move over to Lafayette uh, you've got the Cajun country and all the properties there Baton Rouge we've got everything from the big Baton Rouge Marriott to the little smaller properties and the, and the stock stockade the bed and breakfast yes. is a member mm -hmm. and then of course you get to New Orleans and that's the granddaddy of them all sure. and, you know we've got over 40,000 rooms in New Orleans from the big the big Hilton which is the largest hotel in the uh, in the state 1600 rooms all the way down to the little small properties in the quarter so they're all there the variety is there the 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 options are there both budget wise and and personality wise and, and and plenty of things to do all, in all the locations all with the holidays it. coming up they're they talking just about doing need the lines. people in those rooms yeah. right yeah, we right just, we just well, need people to realize that it's okay to move start moving around a little bit well, I was excited to see our friend Debbie Trailer Jones, Debbie's Bridal, among other things. And she said there's a Baton Rouge Bridal Show coming this Sunday, uh, November 8th, from 11 to 4.30 at LaBerge in Baton Rouge. Go. Yeah. It's great that people can start to have meetings and have conventions and have mm -hmm. shows and things like that. Of course, being very careful, but it brings people out. And they might come to the hotel, see something they enjoy and say, oh... I've got family coming, and even though for the holidays, I don't really want them to stay with me, we'd love to see them. Maybe it would be good to get a hotel room for them. Yeah. 
Now, the, the thing that we didn't talk about, which you just touched on, is that we are, and it's time, to, to, uh, we are prepared to welcome the meetings back. Yes. You know, it's yes. time for, you know, we, we've been through all of the warnings. We understand the rules. We understand the social distancing. Maybe you can talk a little bit about how we're preparing for meetings as well. Uh, yeah, I yeah, mean, the, the brands have come up with their own, you know, variation based off of the AHLA plan. And it makes sure that it's social distance, that it's safe, that it's disinfected, that everybody is going to be able to enjoy having a meeting and get back to some sense of normalcy. You know, we want people to know that we're going to take care of you. We're going to take care of your meeting. And, you know, it's time. It's right, time. Everybody's We've sick got of those to do Zoom business. meetings. Yes. We like to go to one in person. Mm -hmm. And we also want people to, to remind them, all these hotels, most of them have restaurants in them. Mm -hmm. That's and right. And so even if they're not going to stay, if it's in their town, to mm -hmm. go ahead Excellent and go visit those restaurants. I mean, there's mm -hmm. some fine dining restaurants in the hotels. That's right. That's right. So what and and people, let me make one other I'm comment, sure. too, because it's really important. All the safety that we've just talked about for the guests applies to our employees as well. Yes. So yes. understand, yes. We, we're just as concerned for our employees as we are our guests. So if people want to find you, um, we've put the website up for LouisianaHLA.com. If you have any concern or your family has concern, go and look at the website or contact the association and speak with Bill. But thank you so much, Ben Blackwell and Bill Lankhop. Thank you so much for coming and sharing with us because I feel safer now. I think I'm going to have to make some reservations. We'll do it. Hey, we'll come on. We'll <laughs> for sure. I know. I'm hoping that y'all are going to be rocking and rolling before long, and especially before my festival gets to happen in March. Go. I hope that's you're it. well that's right. underway. Absolutely. We need to be and, talking uh, about that third street. Hosted. That's hotels right. Hotels again. And so, and Dr. Cassidy is going to come. A lot of hotels around hospitals, so we need to make sure that we're doing our screenings. So we'll, stay with us. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. I was diagnosed October 19th. I immediately started with a multitude of scans, and then I was having an eight-hour surgery. My biggest concern was my family, and being able to see me come home every day and know everything is going to be okay. I felt comfortable that I was being treated by some of the best. There were some scary points along the way, but um, it's just kind of like been a little blip in the road. Money, wellness, fun. Rocket Right Radio takes you all across Louisiana and the nation with guests who live life to the fullest. I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. I'm Dr. K. Solar. You're going to love it. Join us every week when we cover everything under the sun. Live and learn with the Wright Sisters. Politics. Health. Music and entertainment. Local Lagnet. Rocket Right Radio. You're going to love it. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Hey y'all, I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore our state. Fill her up, then try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab the family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways. Louisiana's a trip. Take one today. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianastaycation.com. And you're back with the Rocket Right Show. I'm Dr. 
KSLR in the house with Hurricane Betsy Barnes. Yep. And our medical segment is brought to you each week by Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center. And we're so excited that you took time to come visit us in the studio. Uh, Dr. Emily Cassidy, who is a thoracic surgeon Correct. with Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, you know, uh, we got a big topic to talk about today. We sure do. Uh, and there's so much information, but I'm just going to leave it open to you. We're talking lung cancer, so Correct. tell us about it. So November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month. Which is why we're talking which about is it. why we're talking Love about it. this, exactly. <laughs> um, lung cancer is a huge problem, both in our country and in our state. Mm -hmm. It's not the most common type of cancer, but it is the most common cause of cancer death. Mm -hmm. So lung cancer takes more lives than breast, prostate, and colorectal all combined. Wow. wow. I did not realize that. And who that, would know actually. that those numbers were so huge? It's a huge, you know. huge problem. Um, what we found with years and years of research is that we can have a really big impact on that death rate by catching lung cancers at an earlier stage. So the way we do that is with screening. Yeah, and we're going to talk about that, but first we got to know, I guess, you know, who all is at risk. Yep. Let's talk, everybody knows about smoking causing lung cancer. So Correct. let's go down that, that road, because there's other causes as well. Absolutely. So smoking is by far and away the leading cause of lung cancer. Um, about 80% of lung cancers are attributable to cigarette smoking, either firsthand or secondhand. Mm -hmm. uh, we are seeing a bit of an uptick in lung cancers that are not related to cigarette smoking as well. And those seem to be occurring more in middle-aged females. Um, so that's certainly something that we need to, to kind of keep our eye on and try and understand a little bit better. Um, age plays a factor as mm -hmm. well. We've identified a high risk group of patients that are eligible for screening and age does play into that. Also occupational exposures, uh, namely radon and asbestos, which there is a lot of exposure risk here in our state with plant workers and mm -hmm. other people who have had those exposures even decades prior to now. And I think all of those are great things to know because a lot of times people go, well, I don't smoke. How could I, 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 I be at risk or, or, or how, you know, or if they have it, how could I have gotten that? Well, let's talk about right. symptoms before we jump into screening. Yes. So I think the biggest drive, you know, the biggest take home point mm -hmm. that I want to let people know about is that early stage lung cancer, which is what we're trying to capture, is asymptomatic. There yeah. are no symptoms. Importance of That's screening. not good news. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So the symptoms develop when you have an advanced stage lung cancer. Well, we we can deal with advanced stage lung cancer at the cancer center, Just obviously, harder, but we yeah. prefer to capture right. them at an early stage. We have more treatment options. We have much better outcomes, much better survival rates. So when we see patients who we've identified a lung cancer from screening, they are always surprised because they say, well, I feel fine. I have no cough, I have no chest pain, I have no shortness mm -hmm. of breath. How, how could I possibly have this lung nodule? And I'm, I'm constantly repeating myself to those folks. The majority of these are asymptomatic and that's why screening is so important. You will not know that you have an early stage lung cancer if you don't go look for it with a screening CT scan. So it's a screening CT scan that you can just ask for? Correct. So it's a low dose CT. So it's less radiation than a traditional CT scan. Mm -hmm. um, it's approved by most private insurance companies and Medicare for patients who fall within a certain high risk group. And that's defined as patients age 55 to 77 okay. who are either current smokers or have quit within the past 15 years. And you have to have what they define as a 30 pack year. A pack year is packs per day times years smoked. So a 30 pack year is someone who perhaps smoked a pack a day for 30 years, but could also be someone who smoked two packs a day for only 15 years, mm -hmm. or only a half a pack a day for 60 years. Uh, but if you meet those criteria, you should be getting an annual low dose CT scan. And it's a non-invasive procedure. You know, you just lay there and they zip you right through the CT scanner, but it gives us a wealth of information but if you're trying to catch it early, it would seem like anybody who has secondhand smoke in their family, anybody who works in a plant that's below age 55, you can't really catch it early, it wouldn't seem at 55. We catch Unless, a ton of them early at yeah. 55, but you're absolutely right. And 
I think that that's the trend things are going to go in. Those recommendations are based on a big study that came out in 2011. And that's just the population that that study looked at. So I think right. because they were able to show such a big mortality decrease in that population, mm -hmm. there are a lot more studies coming out now mm -hmm. that say, well, what if we start at 40? What if we go till yeah. 80? Like breast cancer screening. We've talked about how they change the regulations. They change the so recommendations right. a lot. So I think that that's what's mm -hmm. going to happen over time. But currently, you know, if we're looking at CMS recommendations, which is what Medicare is going to cover and the private insurance right. companies are going to follow, that's what they're currently covering. Right. So somebody be, may be concerned and some of the statistics say that if you're exposed to secondhand smoke that is it a 30 percent 30 percent increase yeah so you may be worried but you might not necessarily be covered but it is something you should tell your physician yeah. because Absolutely. recommendations as you said yeah. may change um, but also they're gonna kind of watch you and they're gonna know that in your history it's important to give all of that especially you know work history like you said if you Absolutely. work in a place uh, that might not be being well, if you worked right in a now. bar that didn't you know prevent smoking I mean now you can't smoke in a lot of places but what if you work there for the last 25 30 years exactly the the risk it, it can be over a long period of time mm -hmm. that's why even if you quit smoking within the past 15 years you're still in this mm -hmm. increased risk wow. category and I think that's an important point to get out because yes, I know there's correct. a lot of things and we do want to say tell people you know if you quit you get benefit like right afterwards but it doesn't mean that's not going to happen so you still want to be screened mm -hmm. absolutely uh, if you fit in that so um, we talked a little bit about you know who should get screened and I know the the cancer center has some screenings going on this month is there anything that folks need to know about that or is there free, is there free screening is yes it, it oh, is great. it is free it's covered by Medicare and most private insurance companies if uh, we have a patient who meets the qualifications but is perhaps um, under Medicaid or some company that doesn't you know support CT screening we do have things in place to help with the financial part of that as well um, we're promoting it this month but we do low dose CT screenings yeah. all year long we currently so, have three locations that are doing the CT screens it's uh, Lake Livingston Lake Ascension and the Baton Rouge main campus of that's Our Lady so of the Lake. convenient and but, do you feel like people are getting are, are talking to their physicians about this and are getting the screen so you think that they're getting the message like they do for breast cancer and mammograms not well, enough yeah, so those recommendations thinking. have been in place for a lot longer mammograms colonoscopies prostate mm -hmm. screening that's all been in place for decades before right. the advantages of lung cancer mm -hmm. screening have come out so it's even though the study came out in 2011 it's still more of a, a new thing right. um, Currently in Louisiana, we're screening 2% of patients who are eligible for free wow. screening. So everybody needs to think about getting screened for lung cancer, and, and, and especially with COVID. So a lot of people weren't getting any screens, doctor's appointments, annual. Exactly. So, you know, we've talked about many times, there's probably going to be a large number of people that are diagnosed maybe a little bit later than they would have. Yes. Right. And what do you see? let's let's go over some of those symptoms that somebody who didn't get screened they're at risk what symptoms might they have or even some of those that you pick up that had no risk factors and didn't think they were at risk what kind of symptoms would they be looking for as far as presenting with so in advanced stage lung cancer the symptoms are typically going to be chest pain shortness of breath cough uh, weight loss um, coughing of, up of any blood um, bone pain but again, typically those are representative of a stage four problem. Right. And we definitely don't want to be there. Yeah. yeah. And so are there any symptoms of somebody, if somebody's just coughing, has a recurring cough, maybe they should get screened and it's free. Possibly. I mean, to be screened by definition, you should not have those symptoms because a screening scan right. is really trying to pick up those early mm -hmm. stage lung nodules. That would be more of a diagnostic mm -hmm. scan right. because you're actually working up a problem. Right. Um, the screening is really kind of geared towards picking up those asymptomatic patients. And I feel like we all know someone or have people in our yes. family or our friends who qualify for this and are just unaware. I've educated tons of family members and friends and, sure. and kind of encouraged people to go get screening. And I think it's just a question of continuing to get the word out, you know, doing things Absolutely. like this to help make people aware. Because I'm sure they don't think of it as screening. They think... Hey, 
I don't have any symptoms. I'm I'm exactly. I'm a good old boy. I'm okay. Nothing's exactly. got me. And the next thing you know, they're having symptoms. They go to see their doctor. They're diagnosed. They're stage four. Right. Then they got to come see you for treatment. And I think fear drives some of it too, right? right. People people Afraid are worried about news. what's on the inside. So I'm also trying to encourage folks that these. Early stage lung cancers are very treatable. They can be removed with surgery. They can um, be radiated. The the out the long term outcome for an early stage lung cancer that's removed with surgery, the ten year survival rate can be upward of ninety percent. So it's great. very curable. It's not something to shy away from and be afraid of. Right. If anything, you want to catch it early. You want to get that higher survival rate right. to be able to, to move on yeah, with your life. Yeah, and I life. think that they probably think about not wanting to be diagnosed because they know the people who've been diagnosed in late stage. Yes. And they don't survive long, so they just do not not know. Correct. So that's not the case anymore. It's not the case. They say, oh, well, you know, my mother had chemotherapy. I know I don't want that, so why go looking for something? Medicine has changed so much well, in the last five years. Well, chemotherapy isn't necessary in an early stage lung cancer. Right. It's not even part of the algorithm. And so people just need to understand that we can, we're here, we can help, but we need people to come forward and, and Absolutely. get their screening done. So okay. you've got seven weeks till the end of the year. So if you've met your deductible or you haven't, you need to go for some free screening. Absolutely. And you can, you can talk to your primary care physician or you can self-refer through our website or our, you know, hotline. Absolutely. And that website is marybirdlake.org slash lung. Marybirdlake.org slash lung. And we have been talking with Dr. Emily Cassidy, thoracic surgeon who treats this. And uh, she'd like to treat people earlier. Earlier. <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and thank you so much for Absolutely. taking your time and joining us today. Thanks we for really having appreciate me. I appreciate it. it. And uh, we definitely appreciate Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center, for hanging with us and getting out such important information uh, to all of our listeners. And up next, we talk in turkey. We talk in <laughs> turkey with Katie Touchstone. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesson. I've had my fair share of experiences with disasters, and I know Louisiana's helping one another is as much a part of our culture as gumbo and Mardi Gras. When it comes to disasters, you can help your community most by getting trained as a volunteer to help with the disaster recovery. For more information about this, visit the websites below and be prepared. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Surprise, something good has finally happened in 2020. Yours truly, The Clarence Bug Show, gets to be with you every day of the week. That's right, 11 to 12 every weekday. And of course, The Exiles, right in front of yours truly, from 10 to 11, yours truly, 11 to 12. So now, it's appointment viewing, five days a week here on The Pelican. The Clarence Bug Show, the only thing missing is you. Hi, I'm Tony Acor with Southern Airs Auction, Dental Springs, Louisiana. We've been professional estate liquidators for over 30 years. Please take time to join us for our weekly online sales on Facebook. If you need help, hit us up. We are often imitated but never duplicated. www.southernairs.com or Facebook at Southern Airs Auction. Five hundred, but a good four, but a good three hundred, a good two hundred, a good two, two. I got a hundred and a half, hundred and a half, one seventy. I had a meeting with Dr. Barfield, and it kind of just hit me. It probably is cancer. After the surgery, I wasn't scared anymore. I was looking forward to getting started with chemo. Not one time did I get a nurse in a bad mood. I was here for five hours at a time, and I did not dread coming. To get people from around the country to come to Baton Rouge, and that says a lot right there. That this is a place that's cutting edge. And 
are back with Rocket Right. It's time to talk a little turkey. I know it seems like it might be a little too far in advance, but it's really not because you know that you need a little help now and then, especially if you're going to somebody's house. You work, you're busy, you don't have time. So we're excited to have our friends from City Pork come share a little bit about some of the things that they're doing for the holidays. So we're excited that you could be with us. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having us. City Pork Catering, we love everything that y'all do. So, y'all came as a team last time, Jessica and Katie, and so you're going to, like, tell us what is going to be on the table for this, Thanksgiving. This, this is Team Yummy right here. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is Team <laughs> Yummy. They bring That's the good the stuff. Been called. I like it. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to do a couple of different things. Um, in the past, we've done smoked turkeys. We're going to do that again this year. All right. Something new that we're going to do um, this year is a uh, porchetta which is going to be a horchata but uh, porchetta pork, porchetta porchetta mm. pork belly porchetta that's going to be wrapped with um wrapped in a sage herb dressing um and it's seared off and it'll sit on top of some mustard greens comes cornbread with a, stuffing cornbread stuffing comes with a little bit of our um, house grain mustard on top of it which is also on the menu at city port brasserie too by the way now as of recent as of like two weeks i know i saw two, it it's yes. one of my it's favorite delicious. dishes is that one of these cool. dishes yes that's yes. one it is and Ooh. so that's how it'll come for the, so for the we need we need to this. have them show this that looks delicious mm. delicious incredible so people could order that for just a small group or a much larger so group. we're doing the portion meal right now serves four people um it comes on a little better mustard greens uh, they can get it, you know, figure out how many people you have, order to that. Um, our turkeys serve uh, 8 to 10. Uh, we didn't get to bring a turkey today. Um, but we forgive but it'd be you. a little bit early for, 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 for getting the turkey the, the out. Early the, the, tur the early birds. The turkeys, the turkeys are uh, injected with a house-made Creole butter. Mm. And then uh, we put our house-made uh, poultry rub on the, on the outside of it. It's smoked over locally sourced pecan wood. Um, mm. You can order it from us you pick it up it'll pick up cold with reheat instructions that sounds so good i love that and so then and, i'll and look like the best chef ever until i let yeah. the secret out <laughs> <laughs> you, you cannot sure. fool us anymore we know you ain't cooking <laughs> <laughs> And so you can either order stuff individually, like you can order just the turkey, or you can order just the porchetta, or you can order just sides. We have packages. Or we as also well. have packages. And we I can, think you have pies too, don't you? Have some some desserts do. happening. We have a pumpkin cheese cake. Pumpkin cheesecake. Pumpkin cheesecake. <laughs> There's a lot to say. Pumpkin, pumpkin cheesecake cake pie, right. and then white chocolate bread pudding. And then also something that uh, Jessica loves to do is throw these frozen drinks frozen around drinks. places. Frozen so, drinks. Oh, is this mm. a, one of those? Frozen, this is a frizzé. This is not on frizzé. the menu. We know that you love frizzé, though. So we brought frizzé. We, do. we yeah. do like um, frizzé. We also brought some brandy uh, bourbon, bourbon, bourbon milk punch. And I tried that. And that then we so will good. offer a frozen version of this as well. All of Jessica's. Yeah, I love this is her I thing. Love so you to can do get your favorite frozen drink. Frozen drink. Frozen drink. For the That's family. really good. And so we can do a brandy or a bourbon milk punch. Um, when you place your order, just let us know what your preference oh, is, so and we'll good. have them have them ready to go. And it'll come half gallon or gallon. So tell us what's in this. Is. It's bourbon, milk, simple syrup, vanilla, and a little bit of nutmeg and sugar on top to finish. It's delicious. It is. Great. It really is delicious. And it's so. Good. I mean, it's real. It's a classic cocktail, you know, kind of based out of New Orleans, but it's a great holiday drink. Mm, that Absolutely. is so good. Put it in. And the frosé is too. Yeah, put it in your cup while you're heating up your turkey. You could have a milk mustache. Yeah. <laughs> right. Milk mustache for Christmas, big Santa, yep. starting early. So um, now, when do people need to get their orders in for this? Because I know we're like, oh yeah, Thanksgiving, that's like, you know, a couple of weeks off, but I know you have to be planning. So, so yes. cut off, we're saying, is noon on Monday, November 23rd. Okay. I mean, I'm a yes person. Don't, okay. Yeah. Don't, don't like noon on Monday the 23rd. Um, okay. Pick up Wednesday by Wednesday the 25th from 11 to 6. We'll have reheat instructions for everyone. Take it home. They can look like the genius chef that they are. Mm -hmm. um, what about a couple of the packages you have? Like, let's say we're having 10 people. What would you recommend? I would the this this package here where you get a turkey, two pans of sides, and a dessert, and then I mean you're basically done I mean, you're good to it's go it's really yeah. easy at that point and yeah add on a couple of gallons of drinks that's and, right, and right. <laughs> you got the party started absolutely 
So some of our sides, um, last year our booty and rice was one of the best sellers. I don't know, I mean like that's a, it's one of my favorites that we yeah, do. It's so it's a take on the dirty rice, but with boudin instead yeah, of it's our the liver and, rice, and chicken. We, we make liver our booty and, and balls out of it. We make our, I mean it's one of our sides normally, but like we really try to push over with Thanksgiving because it really goes well with uh, turkeys. Um, we did well with, uh, we do the rouge uh, uh, cauliflower au gratin. They did really well last year. That sounds um, great. You know, we saw we do green beans and that kind of thing. People do that on their own, but like we had, we definitely have some sides that can make you look like a rock star chef. Well, and your mustard greens are some of the best yes. ever. Right, and so, so you'll good. get that with the porchetta. Yeah, oh, I love that. That's a great option. Now, what is in this other pan next to it? Well, so we figured we had y'all's attention. We bring some more tailgate options to the table. Absolutely, uh, because so people slice. are still tailgating, and we got That's that right. every right. weekend, not just uh, one holiday time. That's right. And the the big ones next week, right? We've yep. got Alabama Bama. coming up. So if you're if you're looking to feed a crowd for that, call us. Let us know. Um, mm-hmm. We just brought wings and pizza tonight, but we can we have several different packages that offer options. And from we can cover your barbecue to pizza all in one delivery. Yep. You know. So this is uh, one that. of my favorites. This is the uh, white chicken pesto pizza. Mm. And then we got some smoked wings down there. Mm-hmm. What goes better than wings and pizza for a ball game, right? That's not a lot. right. Not much. Right. Not a lot. Yeah. Barbe- some froze. Yeah, and some froze. Yeah, yeah. Because you got to have that. That's right. Your tailgate might end up being the thing that they talk about more than the end of the game, depending on how it goes. We're going to pull for our Tigers, cheer for our Tigers, stand by them. But if you have a good tailgate party, everybody will want to come back to your house or have you at their tailgate. The goal is for everyone to leave happy. That's right. Exactly. No matter what. Exactly. So, um, are there any new recipes that y'all are trying out for this Thanksgiving? Anything that maybe you kind of got the creative juices flowing with the chefs? Portrait is definitely new. That's new. Um, yep. It was such a, I mean, it's, we both tried it at the brasserie one night and we were like, this is brilliant. It's got to be on the like Thanksgiving menu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of, it could be kind of like, what we talked about was like our version of a turducken kind of thing mm-hmm. without being a turducken. Uh, just the stuffing and everything it just it screams Thanksgiving so can people get like one of your beautiful delicious charcuterie boards anytime all the time okay if you're coming to my house feel free to bring a charcuterie anytime from city pork or city pork catering (laughs) I love their charcuterie boards I really truly do but you better get some of that other stuff because if you've got anyone coming over like my boys for the holidays they go mom We'd like a lot more than just a cheese <laughs> board. <laughs> yeah, don't because forget the turkey. Don't forget the turkey. Yeah. They come over and you know it's, it's And I also love your salmon feeding. saltine that you have at the Jefferson Highway. Can Thank anybody you. order a salmon saltine you if they want to do that to add a little appetizer or sure. something a little different? Sure. Another thing we can do that we do uh, for caterings is we do a whole side of smoked salmon. Um, and those come mm. on. Then the we do the uh, side of smoked salmon. It's usually about three and a half pounds, so it'll feed what? A, a crowd. Yeah, a crowd. <laughs> um, and then the saltine, we do the saltines with it and all the accoutrements with that as well. Yeah, so that could be an That's appetizer cool. or mm-hmm. and it part looks, of a main it looks really cool. Put it I, love, cool I love smoked and, salmon. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I love the barbecue salmon that's that's uh, mm-hmm. that they serve at the brasserie. So, one of the things yeah. that y'all do really well is just the way you present when you're eating in, but also the fact that you still do deliveries. Are you delivering any Thanksgiving packages, or people really truly need to pick it up? But if they're catering something, you would be delivering. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I mean, we, we're yes people. Not like, yeah. not like a pan of boudin <laughs> rice, but, you know, something if somebody's maybe having a crowd over a day or two before. Yeah. Um, people can, sometimes have different family yeah. sides. We're happy to do whatever yeah. we can do to get City Port to people's houses. So, and, a, and a lot of times people celebrate, you know, maybe people are celebrating on Monday or Tuesday or whatever, and if they need a delivery on those days where it's a little bit lighter, I mean, that's really easy yeah, to do. But I imagine you're going to be slammed, like, right yeah, before so. Thanksgiving, and, yeah, and sure. you know, y'all are going to actually get to have the day off. And then Yes, Thanksgiving <laughs> Day is off limits, for sure. <laughs> Which it's my favorite just, holiday. Mine too. I, I, do, I do love that as yeah. well, because there's so much, much family get-together right. and, and such, even, even more so than Christmas, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you have to have really good food to give you enough strength to go shopping on Black Friday. That's right. You know, you got to make sure that you got that energy up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> One of the things, too, that we've really enjoyed, we love your brunches, we love your breakfast, and y'all could also cater that, couldn't you? If somebody Absolutely. says, look, Anything. you know, this side of the family's going to dinner, 
we could do brunch or something like that. Mm -hmm. You could do that as well. Yep, absolutely. We um, we did a, a, a little small one this past weekend. It was brunch citric. We um, used our mac and cheese as a base and did bacon mac and cheese. We did deviled eggs. Chicken we biscuits chicken, were good. Chicken biscuits. Um, sweet, brown, uh, sweet tea brown fried chicken biscuit. With the country sausage gravy on it, so we can we can Sounds definitely so do that. And I and I so love some deviled eggs. So. Yep. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. we are such foodies. We just love good food. We love talking about food. We love sharing food, and we, we love, love recommending. Love food. We do. <laughs> we do. And we I just know. love recommending any of the things that y'all do at any of the restaurants. Thank you. It's we really, really do. Everybody's always so nice, so kind, so accommodating to whatever you do, but. You know, if you if you miss out on getting this for Thanksgiving, I'll bet you're doing it for Christmas holidays tri Christmas too. Christmas as well. We also do ham at Christmas. Um, for sure. And then we roll into king cake season. Yeah, boy. I can't <laughs> wait for those. So, and... Uh, and New Year's. Yeah. Got New Year's. Yeah. Well, I'll have to tell everybody... Uh, next week about the wine dinner that i'm going to be attending this week oh, that's nice. at city pork brasserie that's uh yeah is it sold out yet the south american wine dinner I so, don't know if we, it's sold out yet. so we talked about it and i don't think i've gotten my tickets you're a pro procrastinator well so. yes <laughs> we, might, we, might, we might have a little pull for you well and also <laughs> if, if she, you need to get in we might have a little pull for you well she goes to the wine dinner you could go to Beausoleil without her and check out Beausoleil because that opens tonight. Right. Right. Oh, oh, so, yeah. so, mm -hmm. so Beausoleil is in Bocage Village and it's right there at Old Hammond and Jefferson kind of to the right of the shopping center such a great place for we brunch there lunch night. dinner awesome. yeah it's amazing great new menu it's, it's, it's amazing very exciting so awesome. they've been closed for renovation and so and now they're beautiful. apart. I stopped in there because I thought they were serving lunch the other day, but they weren't. They were opening for dinner, and uh, so I'm going to have to make it back. But it's beautiful in there. And I'm going to tell you, I cannot wait to dive in this. I really want to dive over this table and leap into that pizza right there <laughs> um, and, and, and show everybody uh, I could. At the end of the show, it would be a great ending. Uh, but the pizza nice. looks great. Uh, make sure that you look for their thanksgiving menu and the best place to get that is on the city port go to city port catering yes and look so up look the at menu. their gallery of their pictures face, facebook, facebook, facebook page because they show pictures that really make you want to eat it and order it and uh, make your thanksgiving plans now because that's going to be the place to get it that's where i'm going to get it but i'm going to lie and say that i made it because that's the kind of girl i am thank y'all thank you appreciate it if you're going to rock, rock it, it make, make sure you rock, rock it right Woo! Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook.